Now we search outside of ourselves for love. And the fact of the matter is that if we can get out of our own way, we fall in love all of the time. I'll give you an example. Um, I took a job when I first moved here in a really grotty little corner shop. It was about the only thing that was going. It was totally beneath me. My ego was terribly, terribly offended by the fact that I was taking this job on. But I put my ego aside and did the job that I was supposed to do. And because there was no ego in me, that sounds egotistical in itself, doesn't it? But because there was no pushing or pulling in me, no neediness in me, I was just there doing a job. I fell in love probably five or six or maybe more times an evening. You know, the little old lady who came up who's grumbling around in her purse to get her pennies out. I would fall in love with her. The drunk that came in to get more booze to sustain the way he was feeling. I'd fall in love with them because what I was seeing was into them, not the being. And it's a beautiful feeling. You need to get out of your own way to be able to do that. And when you get out of your own way, love is just there.